Welcome to the first edition of Mail Time. Uh, this is where we're just going to go basically go over all of the uh, shoes that we got in this week. If you look, check out the description below, uh, you can find the link to my Instagram. All of my shoes uh, I sell through Instagram, and you can see all the stock that I have uh, and get pictures and uh, DM me through that if you are interested in purchasing a pair. Uh, or you can leave a message in the comments and we'll get you taken care of. Uh, so let's get right to it. First pair we got are the uh, Lightning McQueen Crocs. These are actually kind of hard to get now. Um, these were uh, released, I think, a little over a year ago. Um, and uh, not a big Croc guy, but these are pretty sweet, actually. Uh, my kids would probably love these. Um, a lot of detail on them. So again, these are a, these are a men's 8 and a women's 10. This is a UNC Blue Topography, your basic dunk box. Um, uh, they come with a white shoelace. Um, they come already laced up with the blue. Uh, but as you can see, pretty basic with your outsole and your midsole. Um, your leather right here is going to be your basic uh, UNC Blue leather. Uh, where the big difference is, as you can see in the Nike sign, has some texture to it. Uh, and then obviously, and these underlay parts um, has why they call it the topography. It just looks like um, what you'd see on a on a map. Um, the tongue is also covered in that same velvet-like material um, with your uh, tongue tab, the same as the Nike sign. Again, there's the Nike sign. And that topography feel wraps all the way around the shoe. I didn't think I was going to like these from the pictures, but uh, once they're in hand, I actually like them a lot. Uh, this is a men's 12 and a half, women's 14. So, uh, big fan of these. Uh, you have your basic Jordan 4 uh, boxing. Uh, as you can tell, just uh, kind of has that cement, uh, black cement look to it. Um, red on the inside of the box, cement paper. And these are called the Jordan 4 red cements. Uh, the reason being, obviously, you have that uh, cement feel uh, throughout all the red parts of the shoe. Uh, there's the heel tab. Uh, just basic black, white, and gray uh, on the bottoms of the shoe. Uh, all your netting is white throughout. Very clean look to the shoe. Uh, pretty basic, but um, I think that's what makes the Jordan 4 uh, such a nice shoe, as it is a basic shoe that uh, everybody seems to love. and. Uh, can really wear with anything. These are the Air Jordan 1s. They did a collaboration with uh, Union Los Angeles and uh, Beffy's Beauty Supply. Uh, so um, these are the men's version. So the boxing's all really nice. Very different Jordan 1. Uh, there's been so many Jordan 1s released that uh, you know the Jordan 1 has kind of taken a hit in terms of popularity. Uh, but this one's so unique. Obviously, you have that stitching, that woven stitching throughout. Uh, all the gray is outlined uh, with yellow. <clears throat> you got the Union LA, the green stitching there. All the gray accents have that yellow stitching throughout as well. Um, in person, I like these more um, than in the pictures, just because they're so different. Um, these ran, I believe these were $200, uh, so a little more expensive because of the collaboration aspect of it, uh, but still a nice shoe and a different shoe for the Jordan 1. Um, you got your, uh, you know, the, the tag that a lot of, tongue that a lot of these have gone to now with, just to make them different with the, the foam there. Um, for men's and women's, the women's box is bigger uh, just because uh, the women's shoe is actually the Elevate Jordan 1. Um, surprisingly, I like these even more than the men's shoe. Um, I'm not usually a big fan of the Elevate uh, Jordan 1s, but um, I actually really like these. Uh, just the different, it's just a really different colorway. You got the same foam tag as you had on the men's. Uh, I like the orange uh, Jordan symbol up here, the green stitching. Um, the biggest difference here is you got the uh, green Nike sign, but you still have that same uh, woven stitching throughout. Um, and then you got the orange, uh, compared to the yellow on the men's, you have the orange tongue. Heel tab's a little different as well. 
kind of a chunky look that it seems like a lot of women's shoes are have gone to. Um, but a nice shoe, actually, like I said, more of a fan of these than I was of the men's shoe. So this pair I got on sneaker day. Um, they dropped uh, last Saturday. Uh, pretty excited to get these just because these were dropped uh, originally in 2020. Um, and then they released some on uh, sneaker day, which was September 9th. And these are basically, these are just the St. John's uh, Dunk Lows. Uh, basically University Red and White. The same as the Pandas, except for Red. Uh, so it's a pretty basic Dunk. Um, but again, I think everybody loves the Dunk, the basic Dunk, because it goes with everything. Um, so uh, everything is the same as all the other Dunks. Uh, the, the tongue is the basic canvas material. Every, everywhere else is the leather. Uh, with the white toe box and the uh, red accents throughout. Again, your basic. These are the Jordan Tatum ones. Um, you got the JT symbol on top. Uh, this is the home team edition. So, I, I actually, you know, on these, you got a lot of really bright accents. Um, the shoe itself, uh, it seems like it's you know it's a very unique look to it because you got that space in the middle there. Uh, you can see through the bottoms right here. I don't know if you can tell that or not on there, but um, it seems like the shoe has good traction. It's really light. Uh, in terms of a basketball shoe, it's definitely a shoe I would play in. There's the heel tab. Uh, I, they've, this is probably the fifth or sixth uh, colorway on these. Again, these are the home team colorway, uh, but I like this colorway probably more than any of the others. So this is, the, the other one we got this week is the Luca 2. Uh, this is the Lake Bled. Uh, I got the same thing as in all the Luca 2s. Same boxing on all of them. Uh, I like this one. Um, some of the Lucas I've not been fans of, just uh, the colors that they've had, but this one is really unique. A lot of different colors in the Luca 2. A lot of different design. Uh, aspects to it. This is kind of a unique one to this. I don't know if you can tell that, but you kind of have a concrete uh, cement feel to this rubber back. Uh, the shoelace, the lacing throughout, so the eyelets are more the the rope, um, the thick rope that you lace them up with. There's the tongue. Um, and then you have the cement uh, as you saw in like the Jordan 4s, you got a lot of the cement on all the Luka 2s. They've used that um, in different aspects. So again, this is a shoe not quite as light as the Tatum 1s. Um, a little more bulky shoe, but uh, I think they look nice. And they, I, I'm a big fan of low top basketball shoes. It's a women's shoe, but I think you're going to see a lot of men wearing them. These are Sabrina 1s. Uh, this is the Ionic pair. These are the closest thing. These are the GT Cut. Uh, these are the closest ones that I've found to the Kobe's, which the Kobe's are probably my all-time favorite plain shoe because they're so lightweight and uh, just really fit to your foot. And the, the traction on the, on the bottom is really nice as well. Uh, this is probably the closest as well as, like I said, the GT Cut. Um, this colorway is the most, uh, is the original one. This one, the Spark, which we'll also show, uh, has a little bit of that metallic purple on the sides. Again, a very uh, sleek shoe. Um, seems like it'd be uh, very durable. There's the bottom. But like I said, uh, just much, uh, very a lot like the Kobe's in terms of feel, weight, uh, traction of the bottom. So uh, big fan of these. I think these are shoe, although they're women's, I think you're gonna see a lot of men wearing them. Um, and they, they did make, ex they made higher sizes for women's. Usually they go to, only go to 12. These I think they took up to a women's 16, which is a 14 and a half men's. The Spark colorway, obviously, uh, kind of a Lakers uh, feel to that with the yellow and purple, uh, but the same shoe, obviously the same shoe. Um, these released on the same day as the Ionic colorway. Uh, the Ionic sold out pretty quick, uh, and this sold out pretty quick behind it. This is a women's 13, but again, I can't say enough about the traction and the feel. It, you, they feel really, uh, 
they feel very supportive, but yeah, but not heavy and bulky um, as some of the more supportive shoes are. These are still really lightweight and uh, seem to be like an, a really good shoe to play in. These are the KD-16s, um, but these are pretty lightweight compared to some of his other ones, and it's, and it's definitely a low top shoe. It is a nice shoe. Um, the bottoms are really unique. Kind of has the uh, like the insides of a clock all with all the gears, and um, so not only do they uh, feel really uh, really good as far as traction, but they are really unique and look pretty neat with the translucent sole. Um, all the the midsoles also kind of got that shiny, uh, plasticky transition, uh, translucent uh, sole to it. So I do like these. Um, I don't know what these are going to match, so I think that's why these didn't get a lot of hype around them for this colorway, uh, because the purple, blue, and uh, turquoise just don't match a lot of uh, basketball jerseys. But overall, I do like the shoe. This one might actually sell more just because uh, of the purple and black in there. Um, it's got the bright crimson lining uh, on, and then the, on the eyelid as well. Uh, but the silver, this one's all black, purple, silver with the bright crimson. The tongue, um, as you can see on both of these, is the same. Uh, and then again, it's got that, the bottom. These do feel really grippy. Uh, I think these would be really good basketball shoes. These are a little more bulky uh, and wide, uh, but compared to like the Tatum and the Sabrina, they're definitely a wider shoe uh, and have more padding. So it's kind of up to you. Uh, on whether you like the padding or want a, a shoe that's a lot more lightweight and fits more to your foot. So, uh, but th this is a nice colorway again, KD16. That's all our shoes I got this week. Uh, we actually got, I think, nine pairs of the Jordan 4s um, and the others. We got several of those as well. So, again, uh, please check out our Instagram at Coaches Kicks and let us know if you're interested in any pairs. Please like the video and subscribe to the YouTube page. And we'll have these every week. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, let us know how we can be better in the comments and if uh, what you think of the shoes. And until next week, we'll talk to you later.